You are listening to an all new episode of the Model Experience Podcast live from the Model House. The Model Experience is the number one resource for models. Real models, real stories, real resources. Visit themodelexperience.net to learn more and be sure to follow us on Instagram at the Model Experience. What's up, guys? We're back again, coming at you from the Model House. Ooh. We have a very special guest here with us today. Special. She is so beautiful, and I am loving her fit. Miss <laughs> Nikki Howard. <laughs> Say what's up, girl. What's up? <laughs> How's it Thank going? you for being back on our show Thank again. Thank you for having me again. This is so nice. So, confession. We had Nikki on before. We lost the episode. Lost She's back. Files. You're telling our secrets. We're back. You know what? This is we the real deal. Ever. You know what? I had to meet you. And yeah. so we, I said, let's yeah. do this again. We're here. Because I wasn't here. Oh, you weren't. <laughs> no. no. I thought I met you. Deandra. Mm-mm. It's okay. We look alike. <laughs> you guys look at <laughs> nothing. We don't look alike. <laughs> yes, we do a little bit. I feel like we do. No. no uh, we both have really full lips, right? How about I, I run tripping? an Instagram poll on it? You know <laughs> what? Whatever. I am going to do that by the side. I am going to do that by I feel I met you before then. We probably do you do hosting it. stuff? I do. Okay, I feel like See? I've met you before. Okay. Yeah, yeah. take yeah. out of both of them. Whatever. <laughs> and I'm going to do that side by side with Deandra. Yes. Um, so, so this- Nikki, talk about um, how you got started being a full-time model. Like, tell us what you do. Oh, well, it was some dark days. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't, I started when I was 16, and because my mom was a model, and I was like, I want to do that. And she was like, okay, um, don't we'll do see. that. And I was like, why? And she's like, it's terrible for you wow. to do. And I was just all around self-esteem-wise, and I was like, I'm going to do it. And she was like, okay, well, when you get your license and you can drive yourself to castings, you can do it. So you're I like, like, I will. Okay, so then that's what I did, and I've just been doing it for... 11 years, and now I'm super <laughs> underqualified for a real job. Oh, so, like, here we are. <laughs> modeling is definitely a real job, though, girl. No, I know, but, like, you know, like, <laughs> accounting. Right. Like, oh, like oh. being a cashier or yeah. something, like, I have no idea. I don't know. The real clock in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I know, a time card? What is that? I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, it's been... Uh, 1099, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> tons, awesome. of, tons of them. And we know you also do acting. I do, right? yeah. Yes. Some acting, some writing, some stand-up. Just trying to... I started modeling, like, as a... My passion has been acting and comedy and stuff, so I felt like... Definitely modeling. a comedian. I watch your Instagram. <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, right now, or yeah. you mean? So um, but I figured it would be a good stepping stone to kind of get my foot in the door. Mm-hmm. To I was like, okay, well, I'll do this until you know I have some, something like a following, or no, well, I mean, that was long before Instagram. But I was like, I'll have like a some connections, and yeah. then that'll be an easy segue while I, I can you know work while I'm in school for acting and then once I graduate I'll have connections and I'll be able to kind of like do commercial work and then from that probably be able to like I don't know do some TV stuff and then move it's very this is me at 16 years old like on my computer like dial up (laughs) so modeling was like your stepping stone into doing what you really really what your end game is yeah acting yeah but I mean this is fun so fun like right. to be able to do right. like I laugh all the time I'm like how is this my job like <laughs> yeah, this is crazy, crazy. Yeah. like yeah. I could never complain about right. my job like I'm getting my makeup done like my feet hurt <laughs> some so of hard. like your work that I love the most is the campaign you did with Equinox can Thank you tell you. us about working with them yeah it was incredible um so much fun we shot in the desert for three days and wow I god so embarrassing okay I'll tell you guys <laughs> the full details so I get there, we drove there, and there's one hotel. So it's, like, all these lavish people from Equinox. It was, like, a holiday inn. Nothing around. And got my period. And oh. I have endometriosis, so it's not normal. It's, like, severe pain. Like, you're just dying. Jeez. And it's, like, I'm up all night long. I have to be on set at 4.30. The sprinter's coming to pick us up. So I'm, like, du- I woke up, and I crawled down to the lobby, and I was, like, do you have, like, my doll or anything? And they're, like, No. So I was like, what? where's the nearest gas station? They were like, my girl. I was like, okay. So I get in my car and I'm crawling to the counter and I see the mud all behind the counter. And I was like, give me all of them. <laughs> like, I just was like, give me a handful of them. And I took them and then I made it. I, I honestly was like, I'm going to have to go to the hospital. Like, I'm not going to be able to do this shoot. Wow. So I like cowboyed up and I went and they were like, they were like, okay, first up, uh, Nikki. And I'm like, great, of course. Right. Um, first. <laughs> and then they were like, we need you to just jump. And I was like, it's, 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 it's
yeah. it gets my it's freezing cold it's so cold because it's dark and it's there's nothing around it's a desert and so i'm like they put me in like a sports bra and these <laughs> all white <laughs> i'm wearing an all white outfit like shoes white everything's white and i'm like sick <laughs> best case scenario um so <laughs> there. jump jump for um, like probably six hours I pulled my groin. I bled through these white leggings <gasps> that they gave me. Oh, my God. <laughs> and they were like, you can go back to the hotel. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> so I went back to the hotel and just, like, sat in a ball. And my groin was pulled. The next day, it was two days. So then the next day, I was, like, limping around. I finally left. But because I pulled my groin, like, my, my knee locked up. And I drive a manual car. So I was like, I, I was <laughs> the most terrifying drive I've ever experienced in my life. I was like, I don't know what to do. Well, you looked really, really and red. Yeah, you know, <laughs> at, the the day, day, at the end of the day, I knew in my head, I was like, these are going to look sick. <laughs> yeah. These That's are going to be great. Real professional. Yeah. That is a consummate yeah. professional. <laughs> I was like, this is going to be a sick paycheck. Like, photos are going to look sick. Like, I've mean, got it. Take these pants out. Yeah. Have, like, the they were like, out. you can keep them. <laughs> right. Got some <laughs> cute little lemon leggings. <laughs> like, what more do you want from me? So, so speaking of being professional, uh, what's your day to day like? Um insane i'm just a i'm a insane human i wake up at 4 30 in the morning every day and then walk my dogs eat breakfast go to the Wait, gym yeah what do you 